morning, mamas. This is Priya from Mom's Pump here, and this is our latest episode of Spilled Milk Sundays, where parenting gets real. So grab your mimosa or your coffee <laughs> and join us for another great episode. So today we have an amazing guest, and he is live at an event. So hopefully everything... Oh, I see him right there. Let me invite him in. Waiting for him to come in. Hey, good morning. <laughs> Can you see me? You're frozen. Hi, how are you? Good morning. How I can, yes, I can. Good to see you all. <laughs> awesome. You're a little delayed. So I'm going to introduce you real quick. This is Dr. Vance Langer. And Vance is a pediatrician. And he is the founder and CEO of BBY. So BBY is a company and an app helping families to get access to natural breast milk in a safe and affordable manner. So welcome. I'm so excited to see you. Thank you for having me. delayed. You. You're breaking up a little bit. Yeah. No, we're the really excited to beast, be on. Right? You know, it's really great. We're actually out here in Austin, Texas. <laughs> yeah, so you're in an event right now. Which what event is that again? South yeah, by we're Southwest? Um, you know, yeah, you know, Priya, let me. Uh, you're 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 breaking up. Technical difficulties. <laughs> so while he's getting a great spot that. Sorry. to sit and chat, <laughs> so uh, unprofessional. That's okay. Is that better? Yeah, way better. Okay, there we go. So yeah, we're actually at South okay, by Southwest I'm... right now, and uh, we're here. That's so you guys are presenting. Yeah, we were invited to pitch in the uh, accelerator competition, so it was a really fun experience. Oh my God, are you nervous? No, it was yesterday actually. So, oh, um, <laughs> any any oh. nerves are unfounded at this point, but we do find out who won tonight. So, you know, fingers crossed. <laughs> Oh my goodness! I, I'm wishing you guys lot. I'm sending po lots of positive energy to you. Thank you. Hopefully, you. I know that's a big deal, especially <laughs> when you're growing. Yeah. Um, so really I want to. I know you don't have a lot of time, so we're gonna keep today's episode maybe down to 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> sure. We'll try. Um. So, Spill Milk Sundays is where parenting gets real, and I know that you're a pediatrician. You don't have kids yet, no. which is unique for us. You usually have parents on. Exactly. <laughs> I know. And all your Facebook posts where you're like, hey, come watch, you know, a single talk about parenting. Which I it's hilarious. Yeah. Um, uh, but I want to dive right into it because you have lots of experiences with parents. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, you founded a company helping moms and single dads from the LG LGBTQ community, mm -hmm. which is fantastic. So I want to hear from you of what is your latest crazy parenting story that you've been exposed to? <laughs> um, we've been see I've seen a lot of interesting things. Um, mothers have been asking me about urine baths lately. And oh. um, that one I under no circumstances should you do that so i've been trying to tell moms hey that's not very good um that's kind of a, an interesting health craze i don't know why that took off uh i think someone once must have mentioned it once and people really went for it so you see it on actually on facebook too you, like, there's a hashtag for it and um i know your face says it all actually i had the same stunned look on my face when i asked because i was like well why and uh, there's no proper explanation. Uh, people think that you know your baby's urine has some magical quantity to it, but it, it's just it's just uh -huh. it's just urine. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, God. Can you tell Can you tell our listeners, our viewers, and our replayers what that is, real quick? A, a urine bath. It's when you take yeah. yeah it's when you take the uh, the urine of your child and you you put it in you mix it into your bath and you have a bath. It's uh it's wildly insane to me. That is insane. <laughs> that's recycling. I suppose. <laughs> to some level, that's recycling, yes. 
Oh my God, how did that start? It is completely beyond me. I uh, once saw it, you know, we started, we get a lot of messages from uh, the parents on our, in our class. We, uh, you know, in, in our group, we have over a thousand members now. So people ask very random questions. And, uh, yeah. you know, we try to answer all of them as well as we can because that's, you know, like we're for everyone, we're here to help. We want, you know, even if it's something basic that we can answer for you, we're happy to help. And uh, someone asked me that one day and I just, I, I kind of stopped at my keyboard and I said, well, I can't think of any good reason to do this. <laughs> oh my and, God. Um, that's uh th that started but then um unbeknownst to me I, I i googled it and it was a very trending thing to do and suddenly we're uh you know a lot of people asked about it and i had not posted about it or anything they just started asking about it <laughs> oh my goodness so i mean obviously i've never done it <laughs> uh, of course of course no rational person would so please don't <laughs> Wow, wow. So that's crazy. I would, you know, I'm gonna look that up when we get off. This. <laughs> <laughs> exact opposite of what we're supposed format. to do. <laughs> that is crazy. Okay, so our next, uh, our next topic is lightning round, your thoughts on hot topics. Sure. Okay. So I'm going to keep it very parenting focused, but dude focused as well. You got it. Uh, what is your thought on stay at home dads while the mom goes off at work? I think it's wonderful. If a family, a family dynamic is a family dynamic, whatever works for your particular family dynamic is all that really matters. So if you, uh, you know, if, if the woman is the antiquated term breadwinner and the dad stays at home and raises the children, I see nothing wrong with that. It's actually, you know, a very forward thinking way to, as, as a man, to accept that as your position. And for a female to actually go out and take power and go take that uh, role as the primary, uh, you know, breadwinner for the family, I see no problem with that. It's wonderful. Oh, that's awesome. So, what what would if you were in that situation, would you would you be okay with it? Absolutely, that's great. You get to spend all the time with your kids and not have to work that much. Oh, come on, please, that's fantastic. <laughs> great. So, another topic: man caves. Okay. So I know. <laughs> it's like a growing trend that uh, mo more women, moms, are getting mom caves. Okay. They're creating mom caves, little sanctuaries. And man caves have been, like, around for a while. Like, it's been a thing. They sure have. You know, what are your thoughts? <laughs> I don't know if you have one in your house already. Well, but what are your I, thoughts? I live alone, and... so technically my whole place is a man cave. Um, so I do have that benefit. <laughs> but... Um, my thoughts on, on man caves, I mean, you know, everyone needs their own spot. So whether it's a mom cave or a man cave or a dad cave or a woman cave, whatever you want to call it, uh, you know, if it's just there for, uh, it's there for your own personal relaxation and your own personal, um, you know, betterment and mental health, then by all means, you know, raising children is a stressful activity enough. So if you need some time to get yeah. away from everything, then by all means, go for it. Awesome. Okay, now big topic that relates totally to you, and I actually discussed this last our last episode with our last mom from the UK. Oh, okay. Um, buying breast milk versus donating breast. Milk. And you and I have talked about this <laughs> offline before. Yes, we have. But you're 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 in the trenches. You deal with this quite literally all that's the time. We do. Yeah. Yeah. So I want be, before we go into talking about what BBY is. Mm -hmm. I want you to, I want to get your feedback on that hot topic. Ah, uh, you know, I think both options are, it, it, it depends on the mom. I think, you know, some moms could very much use the financial incentive to give their breast milk to help another child, especially another family. And, you know, that's what we offer a baby. And there are some mothers who, um, who donate because they believe that it's for the betterment of childhood. I think both decisions have their merits. Um, in my opinion, you know, as a, as a very capitalistic person in general, you know, you have, as a mother who, who pumps milk, you have a very hot commodity. You have a, um, yeah. you know, what we call liquid gold in this industry. So if there are people willing to buy it, by all means, I would say to do that. But, you know, we also understand that there are many different use cases and need cases for people who are receiving breast milk. And, uh, and purchasing breast milk. Uh, some people purchase it because, you know, they've adopted and they want to do things naturally and they want to do things, you know, what they perceive as the traditional way. And that's well and good and we love that. And, you know, that's what we cater to. Um, there are mothers, you know, who have difficulty pumping and also don't have, you know, the financial access towards getting, receiving milk to buying it. 
and we recognize mm -hmm. it. We recognize. It. Are we back? You froze. <laughs> there you go. Okay, great. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying we recognize that you know, buying any product, especially you know, in a niche category like breast milk, is, is a more um, it's a more affluent purchase. It's a more expensive purchase. Uh, it's not that everyone can purchase, and that's okay. Um, honestly, at the end of the day, it really comes down to how you, particularly as a mother who pumps, wants to help uh, another family. And uh, mm -hmm. you know, there are other reasons to donate your milk, whether it's to help premature infants at, at your local hospital or a breast milk bank. You know, and that's not our that's not where we compete with. That's not our uh, our stance. So you know, we fully yeah. advocate for that as well. That's awesome. Okay, so tell us what BBY is then. <laughs> so Baby is a uh, it's a it's a peer to peer app for your phone, Android and iOS, that uh, connects parents, uh, nursing mothers, or you know, with uh, new parents to buy and sell breast milk. So mothers who have an excess can take financial control of their own self and sell their extra milk to parents who otherwise would not have access to it. Uh, we get a ton of people requesting. You know, that we come to their city, come here, come here. You know, we're right now in New York, San Francisco, and Chicago. Uh, we're soon to be in Los Angeles. I'm really excited about that. But there's, um, you know, awesome. it helps a lot. We do all the testing in the middle. You know, we like to compare ourselves to Airbnb and Uber and all these other marketplace apps. You know, my, the running joke around the office is that we're Boober. But, hey, you know, that's okay. <laughs> um, basically... <laughs> We do all the testing, so all the milk that you receive on our platform is very safe. And this all started uh, when I saw what was happening in the hospital setting. Uh, parents who had adopted, who obviously were not being able to afford breast milk through a milk bank, who go through traditional insurance means, uh, were going through very wildly different uh, pathways to receive their milk. Uh, some people bought online uh, through some shady websites. Some people bought on Craigslist. You know, they swap for random things. And it was just no, thank you. I, I can't, I can't allow this to happen. Uh, so we just started there. Like, hey, you have milk, you have milk, you have money, you have milk. Excuse me. Why don't you guys swap? We know you guys are safe. And it was very grassroots, very low key, just in the hospital setting. And it it kind of grew from there. And then we started a pilot uh, in Chicago. And when we saw that the pilot was very successful and there was a good use case, we moved on towards actually building out a product and launching live in um, three cities. Wow, that is crazy. And you guys have grown quickly, too. We've, we've had, uh, we're very lucky to have the early success that we have. Uh, we have over a 1,000 customers mm -hmm. now uh, a month. So about, you know, 1,000 transactions a week. And, uh, you know, more important than even success, for me, what makes me really excited is that I get to see daily how many children we get to nurture every day. Uh, we see that, you know, mm -hmm. I see the transaction ledger. I go, that's how many kids, you know, otherwise would not have access to breast milk that we have now given it to. So that makes me personally very happy. Yeah. And, you know, as, uh, as a physician and whatnot, I find it very important uh, that we uh, go, th you know, we have preventable infant mortalities and we eradicate that. Uh, there are so many reasons yeah. that, you know, unfortunately, babies under the year, under the year of one years old, 12 months, uh, die. You know, we have sudden infant death syndrome like SIDS, um, you know, yeah. completely preventable situations, you know, that are in our control.